Welcome to the fourth and final part of the IBM SPSS Modeler demonstration series. We've already seen how to access, manipulate, and analyze data. Now, we'll look at how to deploy the results. Deployment is a key phase in any data science or predictive analytics project. It's where our developed and validated models are put into use to impact decisions and improve business outcomes. Deploying models into applications can require complex, time-consuming coding. SPSS Modeler simplifies this process with code-free deployment. The Modeler platform allows for many different deployment modes, including ad hoc, batch, real-time, and streaming. In the simplest case, we would run a model manually on new data and write the resulting scores to a file that we distribute through existing workflow mechanisms. Let's look at the export palette. We've built our predictive model, and now we'd like to score some new data and send these scores back to a database. We can do that with the database export node. We direct the output to a database for which we've established an ODBC connection. Now, we may want to deploy this model in a variety of different ways over time as we get new customers or employees. We will want to score new customers based on our model. For deployment purposes, we might only be interested in the customer's ID number and their predicted response, along with the confidence of that prediction. We can use a filter node to output only the desired data. If we want to add these predictions to some operational data in our BI environment, there is direct integration between Modeler and Cognos Business Intelligence. Or, if all we really need is a list of our top 50 customers likely to respond, we can bring up an Excel node and launch that data in Excel. You can deploy SPSS Modeler in your environment and confidently use it with your existing systems to optimize performance and address your business problems. The results of analysis can be distributed for reporting, monitoring, and planning to key decision makers who only need the results. Or, when further analysis is needed, SPSS Modeler can also access them as a data source. For analytics on big data, SPSS Modeler enables analytics to be processed in Hadoop. Using SPSS Analytics Server as a bridge to our Hadoop environment allows us to deploy our models where the data reside, rather than pulling vast quantities of data across a network. Many of Modeler's algorithms and transformations are Spark compatible. Beginning in version 18, you can set Modeler to Analytics Server Mode, which only shows nodes that are Hadoop compatible. SPSS Modeler streams can also be deployed with IBM Infosphere streams for high-velocity streaming data applications requiring predictive scoring. You can also deploy your models in the cloud using Watson Machine Learning on Bluemix. With its open and scalable architecture, SPSS Modeler makes the best use of your existing IT infrastructure. It integrates with your existing systems when accessing data and when deploying results, so you don't need to move data into and out of proprietary formats. Additionally, techniques such as in-database mining, SQL pushback, multi-threading, and server clustering help conserve resources, deliver results faster, and reduce overall IT costs. As you've seen, IBM SPSS Modeler is a powerful data science platform that allows you to dig deep into data, to discover patterns and predict future events, and you can do so visually, without coding. In this demo series, you've learned how to get up and running quickly on IBM SPSS Modeler. Thanks for watching. Try it yourself with your own data using the free demo and contact your IBM SPSS account manager to learn about licensing options.